If I had a choice of where I wanna be, you could see me running to the battleground. Front line, first infantry. I wanna be the first one there to get down. I would die on a daily. I'm coming up to sacrifice me right now. Put me in the army of the most high. Put me in the army of the most high. Milk dripping from my cheek, but I put down the rattle for thou was girding me with strength for the There we go. We gotta Where you from, up? You from Macon? Yeah. You ever heard of Payne City? Yes. Give me some history on Payne City. I heard of it, but I don't, I, 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 you know, I never hung out in that okay. area. Uh, was that like a black area of town? That's what they say. That's what they say. Have you seen Payne City lately? I had. You know what Payne City look like right now? What would you imagine it to look like? I can't, I, I can't imagine, like I said, I work and I go home, man, cause too much violence, man. It's, it's just too much violence. There it is right there, it says a lot of violence in Macon. Yeah, what do you think the cause of that violence is? <laughs> That's a good question. Uh, I, I sit and think about that, man. Yeah? I, 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 I sit and think about that, man, but the young generation, dog, man. He said know. the young, you step on this side, you might get a skate the sun song. What's your name? Kenny. Kenny? Yeah. My name is Emmanuel. Good to meet you, Kenny. What's your name, Unc? Holloway, man. Holloway? Yes, yeah, sir. I'm telling Good you, young man right there, we come on a slave boat. Yeah. We're the chosen one. You heard that, right? We're the chosen one. Yeah. But, but see, but if, you, if you look back in the, in the 80s, we didn't have all this, man. So you're saying it's getting worse? Yes, because see, in, in, in the 80s, we didn't have all this. That's what we did, bro. We, we, didn't, didn't, we, we did not have all this killing, man. Right. You know, uh, uh, everybody got along. Yeah, probably was some fight, but when I'm going, taking that, when nobody being shot, right. you know? Right. I mean, you know, we went home. Yeah. All right, so check it out, right? Me, hey, I'm, I'm gonna cut you off. Back in the day, people, I'm from the country. Yeah, give me the history. People, you sleep in the house with the door open. Wow. There you go. I remember that, my granddad, my, my, my grandfather. Uh, yeah. Uh, uh, we home from the country. Yeah. We had we had a wooden window. Correct. Uh -huh. If a if it had, if it had a glass window, if 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 a if a, if a uh, window, window side of the glass window, uh -huh. you had to stick a rag in it. What yeah. side of town you live on now? I, I live on the east, south side. South side of Macon. Uh huh. And hey, what about you, bro? What side of town you live on? West side, right? So right here, hey, my, my hey, two hey, elders, hey, right? They hey, told. They, let me let me update okay, so he uh -huh. can he be on the same page with us, right? Okay, uh -huh. They said back in the day, making ain't have all these killings. That's what they said, right? But see, you can, you can, but, but, but see. But we did this right here. Uh, yeah, I used to fight. Uh, Hold on, I want to, I want to, you said, he said slave ship was in the Bible, right? But see, but, but see, I'm going to tell you this right here. Okay. You can, you really can look at it and tell when, some, when, when somebody just want to start to, I can look at this guy here and tell. He cool as hell. Right. Yeah, I'm cool as hell. I can, I can, I can tell this young guy right here is cool as hell, man. Hold on, let me read something for you. 28, 15. Listen to this real quick. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 15. But it shall come to pass if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. So the Bible says, right, right now we're reading about, we're reading biblical history, right, about our current problems. This Bible is talking about Israel. Y'all know who Israel is? Who is Israel? Who are the Jews? Israel, 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 Israel. Yeah, y'all the Jews, right? I'm about to show you, I'm about to prove it. I'm going to prove it, read. Mm -hmm. But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. So our God told us, if we didn't listen to him, curses were going to come upon us, right? Read verse 16. Verse 16, cursed shall thou be in the city. Name name any major city right now. Atlanta. What are, what black people doing in Atlanta? Cursed. What about New York? What New York City look like? Same way. Same way. What about LA? Same way. So what are we reading about? We're reading about our history, right? Our God said, we don't listen to him, we're going to be cursed. Right. Hold but on. It, but if you remember now, the world, it's it, it coming around. Everything about what about who's about? It's coming around. You can't tell simple women. But the, the thing is, there's a trap door. It's a way to escape that door. Because he said, but, meaning there's an opposite side of that, right? So what's the opposite side of that? He said, if you didn't listen to him, you're going to be cursed. So what we got to do to stop being cursed? Come together. How? 
Can I abstain? Come in if you will come, come together. Come here if we come together. Okay. Bro. I don't see that happening. Hey, listen, have y'all have y'all seen what has been going on in the media lately with Kanye West? You been seeing that? Why is Kanye West in trouble right now? Cause what? No, no, no. But what did he say? What did he say that got? Okay, so now we gotta now we gotta address that though, because think about this: is what he said a lie? Would, would people be so outraged if what he say, was saying was a lie? Uh, that's a good point. Because what's the importance of it? How you doing, my brother? Hey, bro right here. Bro right here with the hat on. Because I'm going to ask you this. What's your nationality? Black, African-American. What you say? Same thing? Same what you say? Yeah. Okay, we all say we black, African-American. I had the same understanding too, right? Until one day I had to question and say, damn, well, black is a cut. His shirt black. Where's the land of black at? Who can tell me? I give you $100 right now if you can tell me where the land of black is. It don't exist. What about Africa, America? It don't exist, right? That's a hyphenated nationality that came from two different Caucasian men who named these. Like, look, this happened to us, right? Y'all remember this, right? I know we forget that history because it was our forefathers and our foremothers, but slavery wasn't that long ago. So now, I'm gonna let you say, I'm gonna let you speak in a second. So now, my question was because Kanye West, he in trouble for saying that the so-called blacks are the real Jews and that the, the Jewish community owns everything that we do. That's true, that's true. But, but, but the thing about that, getting back to Kanye West, okay. uh -huh. Kanye spoke his mind, but he got pointed for doing that rap. Trump smoke his, smoke his damn mind and nothing happened to him. Ex exactly, but why does that happen? Why does that happen, bro? My brother's right here. Why does that happen? How can white folks just speak their mind and nothing happens? But when we say this, when we speak the truth, we get canceled. Remember, Nick Cannon said it. He got canceled till he apologized. Deshaun Jackson got canceled till he apologized. Why is it every time that we say the truth, we get canceled? Huh? Okay, so now, if the truth is, if the truth is that we are the Jews, we are the people in the book, and Christ is a black man that look like us, you see what I'm saying? This is the truth. Your nationality is not African-American. You are an Israelite from the tribe of Judah. Let me show you, let me show you how much weight that hold with God. Because we read in the Bible, get Deuteronomy 7 and 6. Listen, when I was coming up, I grew up in the Christian church just like much many of y'all. But guess who taught us that? The white man. The white man taught us Christianity, bro. Every time we go to church, guess what? It's effeminate as hell. You got a white man talking about he, he, we look at him like he got growing up. All the movies, Passion of the Christ, Son of God. We, if you Google Jesus Christ right now, a white man going to pop up. How us as black men, how we, we don't look nothing like that. Bring it out. So how we see anything righteous in one, in, uh, one another? We don't. That's why making, making goddamn, damn, the mic dying. Check, check, check. Making goddamn gang galore right now. Read that. Deuteronomy chapter 7 and verse 6. Come on. For thou art an holy people unto the Lord thy God. The Bible says that God called us a, a holy people to him. Read. The Lord thy God hath chosen thee to be a special people unto himself. Hold on, it says that God chose us to be a special people unto himself. Read. Above! Hold on, what? Above! The word above. Does it mean that we equal? So hold on, why we go fight and march for equality then? Like the Bible says that we above. Read. All people that are upon the face of the earth. Hold on, what did that just say right there? But that's it. That's in the Bible. Have you ever? Have y'all ever heard? Have y'all ever heard your pastor read that? Bring it out. Why are they not reading this scripture? Right, right. God just said that the children of Israel are above all people upon the face of the earth. That's but right. I got another question. What's your name? My name D. Willis. D. Willis. Okay. Why is it if we God's chosen people and we above all people, why are we why are we living like this? Why are we in the ghettos of America? Huh? Everywhere. Listen, I go to Cali. Guess what? If I go to the ghetto, it's going to be black folks. New York, 
If I go to the ghetto, it's gonna be black folks. Jamaica, Haiti. Right. Everywhere you go, black folks is at the bottom. Why is that? Oh, the at the top. Huh? The at the top. Who? No, listen. I'm a, say it again. Hey, get Deuteronomy 28 and 48. I'm gonna show y'all something. Because God says that he chose us to be his special people above all people, right? But what happens when you disobey your father? He disciplined you, right? Listen, y'all gonna find out today that this is God's discipline. Because y'all got kids? If your child, if you grow, you, you, we know as parents, when your child do what you tell him to do, you gonna do, you gonna go above and beyond to make sure that that child got what he need, right? Or got what he, I guess, would want. The extras. If he do good, you like, man, listen, I'm gonna go buy a new pair of shoes. You want that new game? Let's go to the, you know, GameStop, get you that new game. That's what we do as parents. But when that child disrespects you, what do we do? Give me that game. Give me that game. Matter of fact, them new shoes, you can't wear those. I'm going to show y'all something about the Most High God. Read that. Deuteronomy 28, verse 48. This is when Moses read the, the curses to the children of Israel. I want y'all to listen to what he told us. Read. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 48. Therefore shalt thou serve thine enemies, which the Lord shall send against thee. So now, there was a, a flip side to the coin. Meaning if we do good, God said we as chosen people, we blessed upon everybody. But he said, if you disobey me, these curses are going to fall upon you. I want you to listen. Read that again. Therefore, shalt thou serve thine enemy. He said, you're going to serve your enemies. One of the curses would be you would serve your enemies. Read. Which the Lord shall send against thee. Who sent them? The Lord shall send against thee. Who sent our enemies against us? God sent them. Ain't Satan ain't up there fighting with the most high God. The Lord sent our enemies against us. Read. I'm going to show you how. Read. In hunger. It says in hunger. When you hungry, where you going to shop at? Where? Name some places. Uh, uh, don't me off, <laughs> My bad, right? Piggly Wiggly. Walmart. Kroger. Publix. Winn-Dixie. All of these places, right? But guess what? Do we own it? No. Who we got to go to for that food? Look, Popeye's chicken, who owned Popeye's? But guess what? Who tear it up? We tear it up. Read on. And in thirst. In thirst. Water that falls freely from the sky, guess what? You got to go to your enemy to get that. Even when we was picking cotton, guess what? We had to wait on master to say it was okay for us to eat. Read. And in nakedness. The clothes on your back. Do we own the raw textiles to make our own clothes? We might fight, for instance, we might have Sean John, right? We might have FUBU and stuff like that, but where we get the materials from to make this stuff? We don't go amongst each other. I'm gonna show you how descriptive God get. Hey, don't don't lose track. I want you, I want you to listen to this. Read on. And in want of all things. If you want a house, who you gotta go to? Bring it out. Huh? White man. Exactly. Don't be scared. It's, it's the truth. It's the truth. It's not a lie. It's the truth. If you want a car, who you got to go to? If you want a job, who you got to go to? So listen, this is a punishment that God said he was going to put on us for disobeying him. He said, listen, your food, your water, your clothing, everything you want is going to be, you're going to have to serve your enemies for it. Read. And he. So now it says, and he, that same enemy, pay attention, my brother, right here. With the, what's your name? Oh, man. Anton. Anton? All right, pay. <laughs> <laughs> Read and he throwing out fake names. Read. Nah, and he name. shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck. It says that enemy will be the ones that put yokes of iron upon your neck. That's us, bro. Right? Didn't that happen to us? Read. Until he have destroyed thee. It says the yokes will be upon your neck until you are destroyed. You know why we don't have the chains on us no more? Because we mentally destroyed now, bro. Now I want to kill you because you wear blue and I wear red. Now I want to kill you because you slept with my baby mama. Now I want to kill you because you uh, you sold my homeboy some bad weed. You see what I'm saying? We fighting with each other about dumb things, bro. Things that we have no business doing. 
what we supposed to be doing is learning the laws of God. Give me First Kings 2. Because y'all, would y'all call yourselves men? Huh? Feel like a king. All right, what about you? Huh? But is this how kings live? It ain't. So how do we actually get back? Because contrary to popular belief, bro, the kingdom of heaven is talking about rulership on earth. When Christ come back, the black Messiah, right? Like the Bible describes him as, he's going to put us back into rulership. We really going to be kings. But guess what? Only those that keep the commandments of God is going to get that. Only those that do what God told us to do is going to get that. This is Bishop Nathaniel. I want you to know that you can view all our Sabbath classes live on IUIC TV. That's right. I said on IUIC TV. Download the app today. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold, from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.